Do you know lodgings was actually something I thought up in 2012? Four years ago? And it was really story driven, not a series of comedy shorts? And that was Odin? Yeah. That. And this desecration of everything sacred and holy was Jonah. Ugh. Look at his neck and his... Ugh. Hello, my name is David. David Armsby. David James Armsby, actually. I do everything, from writing, to the voice acting, to the animating, to the editing. It's all me. And I get very lonely. And I'm also going mad. I kinda wanna start doing these behind the scenes videos, just to let you guys know what goes into this, and to connect to you guys a little bit more. I mean, a lot of you have actually been watching my stuff since this. And I don't think I've ever talked to any of you guys directly, like, with my voice, so... Hi, and thank you for suffering through this. When did death become a luxury? The beginning of any lodgings episode starts with a brain fart, which then becomes an idea, which then becomes a script. They usually look a bit like this, and once I'm happy with the story and the banter, I'll start voice acting. Because this episode was so voice heavy, I decided to buy a new microphone, a blue snowball, and it's really sexy. Listen to how sexy I sound. And to test it, I did a bunch of like Lord of the Rings impressions, which I may or may not play right now. Possibly? Wicked, tricksy, fish. Wicked, master, this precious. Anyway, new sexy microphone, not much to say about the voice acting. Now, animation takes time. A lot of time. For example, this shot. What the f was 15 frames long. That's less than a second, that's slightly over half a second. I timed and recorded me animating that. Even though the scenery and lighting were already set up because of previous shots like this and this and this, the clip still took me 28 minutes to animate and one and a half hours of render. So if the production of less than one second of footage takes about two hours, Imagine how long the entire video takes. Yeah, admittedly most of the time is taken up by the rendering process, which you don't actually have to be present for, but still. It takes ages. It takes so long. So for this animation, I had to draw a lot. I'm actually studying art and design at college at the moment. Look! Look! See how talented I am! Look how sexy that is! Mm. No, not that! Ugh. But yeah, a lot of pictures. Like this and this and this and this and this. And this. And this. I'm gonna hate myself while editing that. Now the story for Milk came from the original concept I had for lodgings. Yeah, that. Ugh. Since it was more story driven, it focused really heavily on Odin's isolation. He was basically a really depressed Shrek, everyone thought he was evil, and, but he's actually a decent guy. And then suddenly, from out of the blue, the polar opposite enthusiastic extrovert idiot comes along. You know, they become friends, blah 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 blah. Actually it was a lot like Shrek. Honestly, Milk was basically the whole lodging story, original lodging story, uh, cut down to about four minutes. Seriously, down to the snake girl and Larry the Cyclops. Ugh, why do I keep showing that? Editing an animation is actually like filling in a jigsaw puzzle really slowly. Every day you get one new piece and you get to do this. And after you do that about 130, 12 times, it's finally done. And it looks like balls. So then you rewatch and you re-render and you reanimate all the bits that look like balls, the bits that don't quite flow correctly, and that one shot in which Jonah, for some ungodly reason, does not want to show up for. Seriously, where is he? There's always one. Anyway, no idea when the next Lodgings episode will be out. But tell me if this was worth it. Tell me if you guys like this sort of video. I will make more. And also, like and subscribe. I've never said that before. They all say it though. Like and subscribe. Every YouTuber. But seriously, I see you. You, directly. The one who hasn't liked and hasn't subscribed. I can see you. What are you waiting for? Come on. Please. I need a sign off. You know, they've all got sign offs. Like Markiplier's one and the brofist one that PewDiePie does. I can't really think of one. I like Hat Films one, you know, like the good day. Like they used to do good day. I like, an, I like how just an abrupt the end. Like, what a jolly good end! Something, something like that. Something like, what a jolly good end! 
What a jolly good end. Yeah, that's it. There we go. I thought of my sign off. It's just gonna be big giant red text. What a jolly good end. What a jolly good end.